The tale of the South Auckland and Residents Association, um, the meetings are held in your ward and yet things have become a bit fractious. What's the Tory take on all this? Um, I don't know that it's a political take. I think the ward councillor take from the Ockenden side has always been that the Residents Association should be run by the residents and for the residents. Um, we're very specific about our role in that. We go to the meetings, we will listen to the residents. Um, if we're asked questions on, on things, then we will inform and advise, that's our role, um, pick up the issues and feed back to the next meeting. Um, and in that sense, I think what's happening is incredibly sad because the Residents Association is um, it's, it's what it says on the tin. It's for the residents to go and to voice their complaints. Um, and many residents do that. They come in, they voice their complaints, you deal with their complaints, and actually then they're happy and they go away and they come back when they've got their next complaint. Um, so, you know, it's, it's incredibly sad to see it fall apart like this. And is it indicative that really what should be dis we should be discussing right now is lorries thundering through North Road and South Road, etc., and, and that or, or bin collections or not? And instead, you know, not many residents of South are going to be very interested in, in what we're talking about, apart from a handful of people. Um, the bigger issues will always be there, but at the end of the day, whether it's a handful of people that go to the Residents Association or whether it's 300 when there's a public meeting about a company that wants to run a, an asbestos firm from a residential area, um, you know, it deserves the same amount of attention from, from the ward members. So, Residents Association is a small aspect of of what we do, but we'll treat that in the same professional way that we treat what happens in the rest of the world.